Today's meal is going to be a turkey stir fry. I have turkey and pasta as the main ingredients. So the first thing we need to do is the pasta. So I do a handful of pasta per person once the water starts to boil. I let it boil for about eight minutes. The pasta is done boiling so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out now and I'm going to set it aside while we do more of the work. I'm going to turn up the heat on the frying pan. I want to warm it up. One problem with frying pans is they get hotter and hotter and hotter as they cook. I have some new ones coming because quite honestly these are worn out. If you have any of the brown Teflon pans, make sure you pitch those because those are dangerous with that material that flakes off. So here's my turkey and I have oil. So what they recommend with oil is about a half of a tablespoon. You can measure and put in probably as much as you want. It probably doesn't much matter. Also, olive oil. So about the same, I'm going to just do a turn of the pan. A quick turn that was. Now, this has to get hot. And I'm taking my turkey. And I'm cutting it up. Turkey kind of wants to stick together a little bit. So here we go, put the turkey in the pan. I'll even cut it up a little bit here. While the turkey is cooking, I have about two minutes. So I'm going to get started on some other things. One of them is I have the garlic. You shake it like this, and it takes the paper off. Then I have a food processor here that I'm going to use instead of trying to do a final cut on things. It'll make life easier for us. So I'm going to take the new clean knife because you know I went and washed my hands and also um, I switch knives too because turkey is one of those things you have to be real careful when handling raw turkey. Poultry in general is a dangerous thing that you have to make sure is pretty well cooked. I'm just cutting the tips off the garlic. There's not much you can do about that otherwise you just got to cut these little tips off. Now they're cut off. Okay and then I'm just going to cut them once just to make them a little bit smaller. Throw them in the food processor. Next, I want to make sure my little bowl is all cleaned out here. Okay, next I want to cut up my green onions. So I'm just going to adjust these, cut off the bad ends, oh, a little more on that one. And I'm just going through these and slicing them. just like that. Now that's the part that I'm going to use. 
I need a little bit for garnish. So I'm just going to cut this off. Okay, now I'll set these aside and grab my scraper. I'm going to separate them and take my greens that are for my garnish and put them there. The rest of these I'm going to go ahead and put in the food processor. Now I'm going to dump in a quarter cup of soy sauce. Now this is going to cool off the pan. So I'm going to turn over the turkey in the non-stick green ceramic pan. I'm sure everybody has all the non-stick pans that everything sticks to. I'm looking forward to getting my new pans. If you're a cooking ninja like me, that's a hint. I'm not getting paid by any manufacturers, food producers. I don't get paid by anybody to promote any products. But I'll tell you, if you're a butcher like me, you're gonna love getting a good set of knives. If you're a ninja like me, and you're a cooking ninja, you can't wait to get some new pans. So, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Be a pretty exciting day here at the diabetic diet show. Here we go. I have this all broken up and I'm gonna let it sit and cook a little bit more. The whole thing takes about three minutes to cook in a pan. You do need to make sure that it's 165 when it's done. Let's talk about carrots. Carrots, the easiest thing to do with them is to cut them up a little bit. just like this and throw them in. So I have four of them total. I'm cutting up two of them to throw them in. The food processor. The other two I'm going to cut up to, to put on top. So I want to do these a little thinner than those that I already coarse chopped. This, once again, this is going to be garnish. Okay. So here we go. That goes in the garnish save, bowl. Save that for later. Now, I need some ginger. The ginger, you keep it in the freezer and you scrape it out with your spoon. I took this out earlier and I thawed it. So as you can see, it's fairly soft. So I'm just gonna cut it. And peel it. I'm going to put that in here. Let's kind of tear it apart a little bit. Okay, and I can pitch that. Next, I need some celery and green pepper. So here's the green pepper. Turkey's looking good. I just put my thumb in the center and these pop right out. Now, I cut it twice like that and then you can make your sticks. Also, cut your bottom off. And with the bottom, mm, I have to taste it.
Now my trick is going to be to not cut up all of these because once again I want some for the top. So let's go ahead and take this little bit that I have and put this there just like that. And then let's cut up some more. In case you don't know, your scraper, you can cut with a scraper too. Soft stuff like this. Okay, so that's going to be for on top. Let's put these in here and save them for later. Maybe they need a little trimming just to clean them up a little bit. Okay, let's save these. Now, I need a little bit of brown sugar as well. So, it's roughly a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. All these measurements and everything are at the website, jamestdds.blogspot.com. You don't have to write anything down now, especially if you're driving, you're watching this, you're driving, not supposed to, but people do. Okay, the turkey looks great. Meat, like hamburger and turkey, when it stops making noise when it's cooking, that's, that's kind of how you know when it's done. So, also, this being fine, it's kind of hard to uh, be able to read the temperature on this. But what I do is, I put my spatula in the bottom, make sure you're on Fahrenheit and not Celsius, that's always recommended. And I just grab a piece of the meat, like this, and it's actually 212, so it's plenty, it's good. Okay, now, Set this aside to be washed, because you have to wash everything. Pitch these. Dump my pasta. I have to pitch this water out of this pasta. Pitch the water out of the pasta. Now I'm going to drop that in like that. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish up what I need here as far as in the uh, chopper. So let's go ahead and throw in some peanuts. Some red pepper flakes and not a lot like a just a little bit now the food processor Let's see if we get it in all the way spatula here. These little spatulas are invaluable. You know, you buy them and they come in like a three-pack or something. Just make sure it all looks good. Looks like it's all chopped up. Now, all I need is a plate and I'll go ahead and serve all this up.
I have things plated up and ready to go. As you can see, it's looking real delicious. I need to do a couple of things. One is I need to garnish the top with the carrots, green pepper, and the tops of the green onions. Add on. Then I need to put a little bit of olive oil on top. You know, olive oil is on your diet. It's good for you. Just like that. And there you go. That is going to be one tasty dinner. That's our show for today. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click the bell so when we drop a new video, you'll get notified. Goodbye for now.